Ooh, what's up, fam? Welcome to another episode. This is kind of a continuation to where I left, uh, left off earlier. Bonding into comics. Western localizers upset. River City Girls Zero offers option for more literal translation. Claim their work is being disrespected. Wow. Maybe if you guys did your job accurately, you would be no problems. And like I said before, yes, sometimes translating stuff exactly is just makes no sense small differences small changes is allowed and should be accepted but when you change entire paragraphs and sentences to make it whatever to push a weirdo ideology that's when it's a problem and if they're doing it a lot in anime and gaming the one thing we thought was safe the one thing we thought was sacred that they wouldn't get their hands on well apparently they proved us wrong do me a favor subscribe to the channel for more content like this calling out people like this in nerd and geek culture anime manga video games and movies it's a good time so it says in what may be the most ironic outrage in recent times a number of western video game localizers have taken issue with river city girl zero inclusion of a more literal english translation alongside one which makes more creative liberties claiming that such an option disrespects their work and to that my friends i say man you are one pathetic loser <laughs> <laughs> this is insane fam insane but this article is actually pretty deep so i want to go straight to the comments from these people here is uh tom james the thing i want to emphasize is practical reality aside i don't approach game lock like i'm composing the one true translation that can exist okay what you get when you buy my game my game is my take on that material but not the take and that gives me the confidence to be creative. First of all, first of all, what? <laughs> you kind of had me on the first part. And then you said, it's your take on the material. I don't want your take on the material, sir. I really don't, okay? I want you to translate as accurate as possibly can. That we're not stupid, right? Right, right, right? You all can admit that it's impossible to go word for word in translation is going to be some small nuances and changes that need to be made to give us a, uh, a decent translation. We understand that. But here is the problem with you people. The problem is you guys take advantage of your current status within your career field and then you change entire sentences entire paragraphs to the point where it's so unrecognizable that if you compared it to the japanese version you're just lost in translation like whoa 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 they're not remotely similar what the heck is going on here and here is the problem we don't want that what part of that do you not understand and if this is such a problem to you if this is such a problem for you then maybe you should not be doing that job there are plenty of people of all races and creeds who would do the job as as well as they can i'm just being blunt i'm sorry it is what it is you feel me now let's go to this other guy this guy I actually wants you to pay attention to this guy i don't think should even be part of this franchise but let's just let's keep going okay kevin frame he sounds like a raging liberal I, I'm not even joking. Like, on God. Like, this guy sounds like a raging liberal. I, I, listen to him. I clicked on this thinking, I wonder how many people who aren't translators are going to bitch and uh, about the uh, use of creative here. And it was basically the entire thread. Kind of glad my translation career is over because we have the most ungrateful fans in the whole goddamn world. Oh. Bruh, are you listening to what they're saying? Because I, I, I don't think you're listening to them at all. You're not. And he goes on to say, <laughs> this is the part that really really gets me, okay? I want to see a list of all these games supposedly being infected by the translated personal politics epidemic. 
For as much as I hear the alt-right gamers drop this accusation, I've literally seen it in person, which I realize probably means it's BS, like most alt-right nonsense. This guy just turned this into a political attack on him. Not realizing that people, honestly, <laughs> who play games and probably watch anime, aren't really political. That's one. I'm sure there are. I'm not saying there aren't as a whole, but a lot of them don't really primarily focus on politics. That's one, okay? And then two, I'm sure that there are people of all spectrums, Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Conservative, um, Liberal, who also have beef with your shitty work, sir. You turn this into a political attack on yourself. Are you all right? Well, you're a raging liberal and your tweet proves it. And it doesn't help your case, bruv. It doesn't help your case. And this is why channels like this is important. You gotta call these fools out. And I'm not, I'm not saying go and attack this guy's Twitter page and say, yeah, Dante said this and you're a fool and you're a Twitter mutant. Which he is, by the way. He is a Twitter mutant. But I'm not saying you should go do that. Unless if you want to go talk to him respectfully, then sure, you're allowed to do that. But still, they should be called out for the BS that they do. This guy goes straight on the defense, turning turning his entire thing into a political attack on him because he's so great and glorious. And there are other games other than Fire Emblem that was ruined by shitty translation, sir. It just Fire Emblem, Emblem is the one that's most um, recognized and most memorable. But I'm sure there are a bunch of them out there. But these are the clowns we have to deal with in this field. Straight up, right in front of you, on your screen. And this concluded with this tweet from this idiotic gentleman right here. At the end of the day, all I really have to say is this. Translation is an inherently creative endeavor. As much as an art as it is in science. Localization is not a dirty word. And it's not a conspiracy to ruin your Japanese media experience. And the alt-right acts in bad faith. Bruv. You stupid. You are a whole clown. And we're living in clown world. And people like you should not be allowed to work in that field. I'm not saying cancel him, but golly, bruv. <laughs> he, he just... This is... Just, and this is why, in some instances, I really do support gatekeeping. I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't watch anime or play video games to hear your personal uh, ideology or your personal experiences in life and whatever. I don't care for that. Give me what the Japanese said in that translation. That's all I want. And that's your, that, that's your only job. That is it. That's all I got for this episode. Do me a favor and check out the other episode in regards to the anime version of this particular topic. You won't want to miss it. Also, support the channel by subscribing to keep calling out losers and Twitter mutants like this. Seriously, they do need to be called out and, you know, this needs to be so, uh, spoken about. That's all I got for this episode. See you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend. Peace. Oh.